जय भीम जय मूल निवासी जय संविधान जय भारत टुडे इज संडे एंड वंस अगेन आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम यू ऑल टू फॉर टूडेज स्पेशल सेशन एंड टुडे ऑल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डिसीजन दैट वॉज मेड ऑलमोस्ट वन ट्वेंटी इयर्स बैक सो एज यू ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट टूडे संडे वी आर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग द सेशन इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज एंड पर्टिकुलरली दिस इज द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई and considering the july month uh, uh, as uh, one of the date in the july month is very historic and that is 26th july which is approaching very soon so uh, as far as uh, uh, many people know that uh, on this 26th july 1902 chhatrapati shahu maharaj uh, he gave one uh, historic uh, uh, order uh, when he was a uh, uh, prince the uh, state prince uh, king of uh, kolhapur uh, state and on this particular day he issued a 50% reservation uh, in the state services for the backward classes so uh, this was a very historical development and uh, uh, recognizing this particular day today we had organized uh, the session on this particular topic uh, the topic is basically uh, rajarshi shahu maharaj and uh, 121 years of uh, uh, reservation so uh, on this particular topic uh, today we had uh, professor dr p s kamle sir uh, who had who is basically uh, economist professor and uh, uh, he is a social thinker and uh, he is uh, uh, guiding uh, and awakening uh, uh, the way or the to the uh, extent possible uh, he is awakening the society so uh, without uh, wasting time i would like to welcome dr p s kamle sir to uh, today's uh, studio and uh, sir welcome to uh, mnt studio and jai bin jai mulas sir thank you very much yeah uh, so as i was talking uh, 26th Jul- uh, july is a very uh, specific uh, date in the indian history uh, and on this particular date uh, Sh- uh, shahu maharaj ji had given one uh, uh, very important uh, order uh, as far as the social system is considered so uh, today we would like to know from you uh, about this particular uh, order specifically uh, of 26th july 1902 what was it meant for and for whom it was meant and why basically shahu maharaj uh, thought of giving this uh, particular uh, representation to the 50% of uh, almost uh, the population please sir uh, first of all thank you very much uh, thank you ashish and all all audience who have joined actually 26th july should be celebrated as the day of social revolution uh, after independence uh, especially after the implementation of constitution we are implementing reservation policy we call it as affirmative action but before that uh, 100 or more more years in 1902 1902 more than 100 years back it was uh, introduced and implemented by rajarshi shahu Uh, the peculiarities uh, of this order was uh, he was in uh, england europe in uh, europe he was in he was in england and from england he issued that order and it was published in state gazette on 26 july 1902 and the order was 50% of the uh, vacancies that may occur in the state services shall be filled by the recruit from among the ba- backward classes so he was in england and from england he issued an order which was published in the state gazette and it was mentioning about what we call it as a affirmative action or reservation policy in 19 1902 so you can imagine before 150 years back such type of decision can be taken it was taken by rajarshi shahu really it was a very revolutionary decision from the point view of what we call about maintaining social equality justice and promoting social welfare that is what this this policy this uh, order was very important what he made Yes, sir, can you hear my voice? Hello. Uh, 
Can you hear my voice, sir? Hello, I think we have lost his connection. And it is. So we connect with him. That is enabled. It is because of only such a affirmative action, such a reservation policy to be implemented. What he made to take such a revolutionary social decision was when he became king of Kolhapur state, emperor of Kolhapur state, he was, he was well studied. He was well studied. He, he took his education from an from a, a English teacher, foreign teacher, Fraser. And he was frequently visiting, visiting to the European countries. And he observed there how the socioeconomic conditions are there in European countries and foreign countries. And how those are there, how those are there in the country like us. And he thought that a lot of disparities, there are a lot of inequalities there. Injustice is there. Discrimination is there. Exclusion is there. And there is a need for taking such a revolutionary decision as the result of which especially the backward communities will, uh, will uh, benefit from that decision, that a policy. And therefore that decision was taken. He carried out a survey of education, primary education and uh, higher education and college education. And he found out what is the state of education in Kolhapur state, Kolhapur Samsthan. And he found that a lot of disparity was there. And that disparity he observed made it very unsatisfactory and disappointing. As the result of which he took a decision. And that decision was relating to what we called as a reservation policy a pre-independence, it is called as a affirmative action. What was the situation he observed when he become a king of Kolhapur state? He found that literacy was having a lot of inequality. Literacy was having a lot of inequality. And that inequality was he observed, he observed illiteracy, he was talking about, he carried out a survey in Kolhapur state and Samstha. And he found that in 1894, the population of Kolhapur state was 9 lakh. And there were 224 schools uh, and the students were 15,000. But the enrollment in the student was a thing of very disappointing to everybody, but that was captured by Rajarshi Shah only. And he found that there is a, there was a, across the community disparity lot of disparity was there and he found that of the total enrollment of the total literacy 79 percent literacy was among brahmin community only only nine percent literacy was there among maratha and all others were again very much illiterate very much illiterate. Enrollment was significantly lesser what Rajal Shishao found. Then in Kolhapur state, there were 441 students in Rajaram High School. And in that school, he found out of the 441 students, 368 were only Brahmin and 61, all others were remaining. Then Rajaram College, a very famous college in Kolhapur, 
in that college, the total strength of the students was 61 and 55 were brackets. That across the social communities, he observed disparity, he observed inequality, and he thought that there is a need for taking a revolutionary decision and that revolutionary decision can be reservation, can be affirmative action. And therefore, that decision was taken. Dr. Bihar Ambedkar being a very, very closely associated with Rajiv Shishahu, a very close affection was there, love and affection was there between Rajiv Shishahu and Dr. Ambedkar. And what Rajiv Shishahu proposed, he tried to implement wherever possible, whenever possible, and making a policy and implementation of that. In 1920, a famous Mangao Parishad was organized, and Rajar Shishahu made Dr. Ambedkar a president of that Mangao Parishad. And he declared Dr. Ambedkar is the leader of the list of backward communities. Dr. Ambedkar also, you might be knowing in 1947, he published a book, States and Minorities. And in the States and Minorities, actually it is a proxy constitution. Actually it is a, it, 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 it was a, a memorandum of his social organization, Scheduled Caste Federation. And he wanted to submit to the this constituent assembly because the process of framing of the constitution, drafting of the con constitution, the decision was taken. And Dr. Ambedkar didn't know he, he will be the part and parcel of uh, that uh, activity. So he was visionary. He, he prepared a memorandum of Scheduled Caste Federation. And he wanted to submit to the Constituent Assembly about how the development policy should be there, how it can be inclusive, social inclusive, how it can be social welfare promoting, how it can uh, promote and propose and give social justice, equality and welfare uh, to the deprived communities, especially from the backward communities. And in that states and minorities, Dr. Ambedkar also uh, proposed the same policy, reservation policy, to the, to the socially deprived communities in proportion of the population. And this idea he might have taken from the Rajar Shishahu, but he also observed because he was a researcher in sociology, anthropology, economics, and all others. So he might have that background, but the policy decision which was taken by Rajar Shishahu relating to reservation was a, was a, was a revolutionary. And fortunately, Dr. Ambedkar was very well equipped with what the socioeconomic conditions of the backward communities are there because he studied sociology. He carried out a research in anthropology when he was studied uh, uh, in MA for Colum in Columbia University and PhD as well. And that policy he incorporated in 1947's states and minorities as a, he, he, uh, Dr. Ambedkar used the term representation. Dr. Rajar Shishahu termed it as a reservation policy. Dr. Ambedkar termed it as a representation policy, representation, representation to the backward communities, to the deprived communities. And fortunately, he was the architect of constitution. So he incorporated the reservation policy, affirmative action policy in the constitution of India. Thus, what Rajar Shishahu proposed implemented taking into account what the socioeconomic conditions of the deprived communities, backward communities were there in Kolhapur state, Kolhapur Samstan, which was very much impressed by Dr. Ambedkar and the studies and research which was carried out by the Dr. Ambedkar. That also inspired and motivated him that the such revolutionary policies and decisions are very much necessary. And that led to he first incorporated in Scheduled Caste Federation memorandum, which was known as the States and Minorities, which is like a, like a constitution, therefore it is known as proxy constitution. Preamble is there, articles are there, sub-articles are there. 
And fortunately, Dr. Ambedkar was the part and parcel of making of the constitution of India. So that become very easier and that become very simpler. So he incorporated that reservation policy in the constitution of India. And consequently, that, that came into true uh, in the independent India, especially when the constitution implementation started. But yeah, the, uh, this uh, decision is considered this 1902 uh, uh, when the decision came, and uh, it was uh, total uh, uh, and means one of the major decision uh, to give representation to almost 50 percent of the uh, seats or whatever vacant seats will come from that particular time. So uh, whatever social system was existing in that particular uh, year or particular before that time. Uh, definitely it was uh, uh, very hampering to the to, to that time uh, social system so uh, what was the reaction of the society or what was the reaction of the forefront runners of this social system uh, for whom uh, this was a, a very very uh, back uh, i mean sir, they got a very harm um, uh, message or or, or a, it was a very harmful attack on their particular existing system so how do you think what was the reaction Definitely, that was a revolutionary decision and it was not digestible to that existing society. A lot of oppositions uh, uh, were, uh, were found there, especially the beneficiaries, upper caste communities, uh, very, very um, uh, strongly opposed that decision. And they tried how Rajarshi Shahu will be in trouble, how Rajarshi, uh, Rajarshi Shahu uh, will not work properly so far as. Uh, the administration in the Kolapur state or Kolapur Samstan is concerned. Lot of opposition was there. But Rajarshi Shahu was very firm. Rajarshi Shahu was very firm. And not only affirmative reservation policy, he also took number of decisions and measures and policies and implemented. And that, that, that policy, that decision uh, he took was made strong by uh, Rajarshi Shahu. Take example, uh, some of the some of the decisions and policies and measures which Rajarshi Shah implemented for the sake of social welfare promotion and social inclusive development of the Kolapu state. Take example, on September 30, 1917, uh, he issued an order and that order was students of all costs should study together in government schools. Then he started three hostels one at Rajputwadi, one at Station Bungalow, and one at Rukidi Camp, and four more hostels, Miss Clark Hostel, Ari Samaj Hostel, Indumati Hostel, Backward Communities Hostel, and two hostels at Pandarpur. Again, at Nasik and Nagpur also extended financial assistance so that education will be spread and the benefits of this reservation policy, affirmative action policy will be taken. Then he appointed backward communities because the implementation of that policy was required. So he appointed in private sector and public sector, he appointed backward communities, that is employed untouchables, especially in the hunting, then in the administration, in Darbar also, he appointed. Then Mahuts were appointed from the deprived communities. Drivers, chariots were appointed from the uh, backward communities. Then on police force, he appointed backward communities. Then uh, uh, pleaders and doctors, he gave financial assistance for their education. Then one person, namely da Dadova Pawar, he was made a chairman of the standing committee. And he also became Mamleda and MLA of the Kolapur state or Kolapur Samstan. He made to change surnames of the backward communities so that they will not be identified. And the surnames which Rajar Shishau suggested were, were Bhosle, Pawar, Salunke. In addition to that, he started. Uh, Dr. K uh, Keshav Patil, he, he, he instructed Keshav Patil to start pre-mixed eating house. He started hotel for Gangaram Kambale, Satya Shodak Hotel, and he was personally along with staff, Rajar Shishahu was going. 
he banned practice of untouchability practice of hajeri especially for the back backward communities and also uh, he started practice of schools and government hospitals in which untouchability was banned then he banned untouchability practice in public places like dharmashala rest house public wells river ghats etc etc what does this mean this means that he introduced and implemented that reservation policy in 192 26 july in addition to that to derive benefits of reservation policy jpsn is required security social security social protection should be given to the this uh, socially deprived communities and in that direction he also undertaken efforts maybe uh, 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 encouragement for education free and primary education primary, primary schools for backward communities mixed schools for all communities and also appointment of these deprived communities in private as well as public employment what is this this is just social revolutionary and it was made by just rajesh shishau nobody thought of it nobody thought of it and it was incorporated in the constitution of india by rajesh shishau uh, dr ambedkar this is what uh, the legacy of rajesh shishau was also taken very seriously by dr ambedkar because all of us know dr ambedkar was a very 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 severe victim of the society and what he troubled all of us know being being Uh, uh, being uh, learners of Rajesh uh, Dr. Ambedkar, and that was that suit was followed by Dr. Ambedkar, and very rigorously, sincerely, honestly, he endeavoured to incorporate that policy in Constitution of India, so as to give justice, equality, social welfare to the backward communities, to the women. That is what uh, Dr. Ambedkar. Uh, followed the suit of Rajesh Shishau, and this is a very revolutionary decision. And therefore, Dr. Ambedkar was saying, the birthday of birthday of, of Rajesh Shishau should be celebrated as a national festival, as a national festival. Birthday, birth anniversary of Rajesh Shishau should be celebrated as a as a national festival, not only in India, not only across the states, but at global level also. because that revolutionary decision couldn't be taken by all others it was just taken by rajesh shishau and that uh, vedokt and all other experience which rajesh shishau took that made him to take such decisions if the situations like king is like this then what about the deprived communities what about the backward communities what is, what is the life of what what are the sufferings of the backward communities in that direction he thought and he started with education he started with reservation he started with employment he gave a preferential treatment priority treatment and the same policies were adopted which were suggested by dr ambedkar in states and minorities first so as to submit to the constitution constituent assembly because that will be incorporated in the constitution of india and we are lucky enough we are fortunate enough that dr ambedkar was the part and parcel of making the constitution and therefore he incorporated that policy in the constitution of india and therefore it is because of dr ambedkar and uh, previously it is because of rajesh shishau that policy become the policy of the government of india and the policy of the nation the policy by many other countries also adopted from the rajesh shishau that is what uh, this is happening but unfortunately when we talk about the present context this policy has been totally failed by the policy makers and our representatives we are giving reservations to the different strata to the different communities intention is good to give social justice equality to maintain and to promote welfare but unfortunately the the recruitment is not there privatization is taking place lot of privatization is taking place so public government employment is not there and in private employment no reservation is there so we incorporated the policy for some years definitely it was implemented in education in in politics in in uh, employment in appointment yes to some extent it was implemented but later on we defeated that policy 
defeated in the sense that we started, on the one hand, we are advocating Rajya Shishahu. We are taking names of Dr. Ambedkar, Mahatma Jyoti Rao Phule, but their policies, their thoughts and their measures and their work, we are, we are vanishing just. Take example, just only reservation policies taken into account. We are privatizing our entire economy. We are moving from mixed economy to capitalist economy, free economy, liberal economy, and all employment opportunities in public sector. Just we are we are reducing, we are reducing, and how the reservation policy can be implemented? Policy is there. We are supporting Rajar Shishahu. We are we are taking names of Dr. Ambedkar Mahatma Jyotirao Phule, but we are decreasing employment in public sector. And this reservation policy is there in the public sector only, not in private sector. So how, how the dual policy, policy makers and government is implementing that we, we are experiencing. Actually, at this moment, there is a need for giving justice and promotions and encouragements and stimulations to the deprived, socially deprived communities. Policies are there. But so far as recruitment is concerned, recruitment is totally banned. No recruitment is there. We are privatizing banks, we are privatizing public sector undertaking, we are privatizing uh, the, this government departments, we are outsourcing. Outsourcing nothing but it is privatization. So on the one hand, we advocate Rajar Shishabu, we take names of Dr. Ambedkar, we take names of Mahatma Jyotirao Phule, but we are defeating their policies and the work that they have carried out, they suffered a lot in carrying out such decisions and implementation of such decisions. And we are just defeating their policies, their works. Just we are formally taking their names, but taking decisions which are totally opposite, totally reverse what they did for social welfare of the society, equality, justice, and promotion of social welfare that is happening. And that is what the present, present situation is there. So what I would like to suggest is that we should take seriously Rajan Shishahu and 26 July, should be should be celebrated as a social justice day not only in maharashtra not only in kolhapur not only in india but across the globe that revolution decision rajar shishahu took in england and in england he ordered that this this policy is necessary to be incorporated in gazette and with immediate effect it should be implemented and it is the duty and responsibility of the administration to look at whether it is being implemented very really rigorously, sincerely, honestly or not. It is due to administration to take due care as the result of that very sincerely, honestly, rigorously that policy will be implemented. And that will give us what we call it as a social justice, equality, social welfare, what we call it as inclusive growth or inclusive development. How visionary Raja Shishra was there. How many kings are there excluding the uh, king of uh, this Kaikwad of uh, Baroda? Nobody is there. Nobody is there who took such decisions, who worked for the sake of society, who worked for the social welfare, who worked for the inclusive growth development. Now we are discussing about inclusive growth. We are discussing inclusive growth, inclusive development, but we are uh, privatizing the economy. No employment is there. We are reducing the number of public sector banks. We are privatizing railway. We are privatizing all other uh, state and uh, central government undertakings and we are defeating the policy of reservation. Very visionary, uh, Rajar Sheshahu uh, implemented, he was educated. That uh, Cambridge University gave delete to Rajar Sheshahu. During that period, we can imagine how caliber he was, how socially uh, revolutionary he was. Cambridge University gave uh, honorary delete degree to Rajar Sheshahu. But we are defeating Rajar Shishahu, Dr. Ambedkar, Mahatma Jyoti Rapule. Just we are taking their names for the sake of politics and implemented reverse policies and measures. And we are trying to vanish their works, what they have did for the society, for the sake of the society that is happening. This is what the, the reality is there. Future course of action should be, we take very seriously Rajar Shishahu, 26th July, should be implemented as a social justice day. Everybody, every citizen of the country, because Dr. Ambedkar was saying, birthday, birth anniversary of Rajar Shishahu should be celebrated as a national festival. Likewise, this also like national festival and also international as well. That should be implemented. 
the, the, his policy should be incorporated in the policies and we should be very sincere, honest and rigorous in implementation. And listen, until in that direction the efforts are being made, we are just vanishing the works of social revolutionaries like Rajat Shishahu, Dr. Ambedkar, Mahatma Zitarapuli. That is what I want to propose before the audience, before the society. Over to you, Ashish. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, very rightly pointed out, the, pointed out by you and uh, very elaborately you had covered the entire thing uh, within a short span uh, right from the implementation of preservation and carried forwarded by Pule, uh, Jyotiba Puleji and Baba Sahib. And today also how it is correlated and what is happening actually to the reservation policy. So basically uh, uh, every our forefathers, uh, uh, including Rajesh Shaw Maharaj, they have fought for the rights uh, uh, for the uh, backward people uh, who were uh, uh, who were unjustice uh, and also uh, they had not given blanket this one they had done it uh, uh, by doing proper study pro collecting proper data and proving it and then only they had uh, uh, done this uh, uh, cause if we uh, read that particular decision that will also will give a clear idea and i would like to just uh, uh, read that particular statement so that particular statement said proclamation of reserved seats for backward caste the Kolhapur State Gazette. Currently in the Kolhapur princely state, steps have been taken to educate the people of all Varnas and to encourage them towards education. However, looking at the condition of the underprivileged, the government feels sorry that these efforts haven't had the kind of success that was expected. And after thinking carefully about the subject, the government has reached the conclusion that there aren't enough opportunities available after completing one's higher education. The solution for this is to encourage the backward classes of the government subject to opt for higher education. His Highness has decided that a higher portion of the princely state's employment opportunities should be kept aside for these classes. In this regard, His Highness orders that of all the seats that go vacant from the date of this proclamation, 50% seats should be filled with the backward classes. In all the offices where backward class employees numbers are less than 50%, all the next appointment should go to the backward classes. After the publication of this order, the chiefs of each department should send a tri-monthly report of all the appointments in their departments to His Highness. The backward classes should be understood as all classes except Brahmin, Prabhu, Shenvi, Parsi and other advanced classes on the orders of His Highness. Nagesh Pandurang Hide. So basically, uh, this order it gives the clarity and it gives the uh, entire picture of how uh, the, the visionary Shaho Maharaji was and uh, and what for he had given this uh, proclaim this order and uh, how it was benefited uh, to the society uh, till today uh, if this has been implemented in the right uh, uh, perspective and uh, definitely if uh, the rulers of this country. Uh, want to give justice to the majority of the people, majority of the citizens of India, then definitely uh, this uh, uh, implementation part is a very, very important so that every individual gets developed and every citizen should get developed. And definitely once citizen is developed, it will be the development of the country. So it is uh, uh, such a grassroots level, uh, it is uh, related. And definitely his vision uh, will uh, become uh, uh, means, uh, the entire vision of Shahu Maharaji uh, to make uh, the backward class people, uh, ruling class people, or, or uh, city, uh, such a citizen that he should feel proud of himself. So, uh, and also as rightly uh, messaged by you that uh, his uh, uh, day, this particular day of uh, uh, giving the reservation should be celebrated as a social justice day and this definitely all our viewers should think in this particular direction and they should celebrate this as a national and international festival. Definitely, it can create a reaction. Thank you very much, sir, for joining today and elaborating on this particular topic and uh, giving Thank important. you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Very Thank much. you. Thank you. Thank you. So it was Professor D.S. Kamle, sir, who had joined uh, uh, from Shivaji University, Kolhapur, and uh, he's a social thinker as well as he's a professor in economist and uh, uh, very rightly and, and in broadly he had elaborated on this particular reservation which was given by Shahu Maharajji on 20, uh, 26 July 1902 and uh, uh, he had also given a message to all our viewers uh, what we should do in today's situation.
so uh, this video will be there on this particular link and all are requested to pass on this information to all the uh, people in your network your relatives your your family members and all so that this important information reaches to the masses and everybody is get awakened on this particular aspect and uh, if they are having right information they can uh, speak at anywhere about this reservation policy because it is uh, uh, it is proclaimed in such a way that it is uh, anti uh, means not in the favor of uh, the entire nation and all so so many things can get clarity with the help of this uh, information in the video so uh, this is really a very important video and uh, i would again request to share this particular video in entire your social circle thank you very much tomorrow we will be uh, joining again at 8:30 pm and uh, tomorrow we are going to discuss about uh, uniform civil code uh, and the topic is uniform civil code jabran thopne ka nirnay koi pagal sarkar hi kar sakti hai ya statement tha dr baba saheb ambedkar ka ambedkar ji ka aur usi uh, statement ke upar kalam discuss karenge uniform civil code jabran thopne ka nirnay koi pagal sarkar hi kar sakti hai aur is vishay par hamare sath kal baat chit karenge mulnivasi bd borkar sahab jo chair person hai dk khapade memorial trust ke to kal unke sath mein is vishay par gahan charcha hogi तो ज्यादा वक्त में लेते हुए कल पुनः मिलेंगे हम साढ़े आठ बजे तब तक के लिए धन्यवाद जय भीम जय मुलनिवासी जय संविधान जय भारत